Hi, in this video I will be covering the module 1 of design of steel structures. Module 1 comprises of the introduction to steel constructions, introduction to bolt connections and welded connections, problems regarding lap joint, butt joint and the length of weld and finally the efficiency of connections. So this module is divided into 11 lectures. In this video, I will be delivering lecture 1 that is steel as a construction material. In this lecture, I will be talking about why steel is a construction material and what are its importance and advantages. Yes, steel is most commonly used material right after concrete. It is basically because of its strength, good ductility and is easy to fabricate. All these advantages makes it also makes it most widely used material. It is also affordable for making long span bridges and other structures because of ease in construction and the connections are easy to maintain. Let's discuss the advantages of steel over concrete. The main factor of using steel over concrete is its higher strength. Hence, the sections are lighter. This can be found by comparing the minimum steel grade and concrete grades. By comparing these two, we find that the minimum grade of steel, that is 250 MPa of a mild steel, can carry up to 25 kilograms. And same of a concrete can carry up to 2 kilograms. Another important factor is that it is economic due to the high strength to the weight ratio. Steel has a very high strength to its weight and is easy to build which helps in building taller structures and longer spans. This rapid and easy construction and modification helps steel to be more advantageous over concrete. And last, steel has 100% scrap value if it is properly protected against corrosion and fire. So these are the important advantages of steel which makes it a more suitable construction material over concrete. So what is this steel made of? It is basically iron which is added in the form of iron ore which is comprises of almost 98 percent ease. To it carbon is added to increase its strength. It ranges from 0.1 to 1.1 percent ease. To this many other add-on metals and chemicals are added like sulfur, phosphorus, manganese, silicon, nickel and chromium all of this has different effects for example adding chromium yields stainless steel now let us go through the properties of steel the mechanical properties include the strength that is yield strength and ultimate strength then comes hardness toughness and ductility we know hardness is the resistance to abrasion and toughness is the resistance to impact. Then the physical properties include 1. The specific gravity and the density is 7850 kg per meter square. Young's modulus of steel, we already seen this before, is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 megapascals. Similarly, the Poisson's ratio is 0.3. These are some of the important physical properties and mechanical properties of steel which comes in handy during our problems. Next is classification of steel. Steel can be generally classified into reinforcing steel and structural steel. As you can see in the figures, a reinforcing steel is basically the reinforcement bars we use in RCC in beams, slabs or columns. They are designated by the yield stress denoted by Fy. 
Similarly, a structural steel, which is denoted by their ultimate tensile strength, that is Fu, is basically used in buildings or bridges. We have seen the structural steel in use when you go to a railway station or uh, overhead platforms or overhead bridges. Another classification of steel is based on the carbon content. I have already mentioned the carbon content in steel varies from 0.1 to 1.1 percentage. So with the variation in carbon, the strength of steel can be increased. 0.1 to 0.25 is low carbon steel or mild steel. 0.25 to 0.6 is medium carbon steel which is commonly used in hammers or rails. 0.6 to 1.1 percentage is high carbon steel which is basically used for drilling bits or masonry tools. But the problem is if you increase the carbon even more it increases the strength and hardness but reduces the ductility and toughness of steel. This is a defect so it is always advisable to keep carbon within the permissible limits of 0.1 to 1.1 percentage. We have studied stress strain curves in many subjects from mechanics of solids to design of concrete structure. So I am not going to explain this in detail. A stress strain curve basically shows how a steel or any material behaves under stress and strain. It also gives us the value of Young's modulus, that is the slope of the curve. It has different stages. The first stage is up to limit of proportionality and then comes strain hardening, then comes necking and finally fracture. Structural steel sections are available in a variety of shapes and sizes. Rolled steel eye sections, which is the most common, is used as a beam. Rolled steel channel sections can be used as connections in a truss section. Rolled steel T sections are commonly used as hanger connections. Rolled steel angle sections are of two types, equal angles and unequal angles. Rolled steel bars are of two types, square or round. Similarly, Rolled steel plates, sheets, flats and strips are some of the other available rolled steel sections. These sections are available in the market in variety of sizes, can be used as and when required. Two important terms that we need to understand before studying design of steel structures is what is analysis and design. Analysis means to determine the forces and moments on any structural member due to the various loads and load combinations acting on it. So what is design? Design is the selection of the right size members in the right shape of members. Further, design includes connections between these members to resist the particular loads. Also, there are a variety of loads and load combinations which act on a member like dead loads and imposed loads. There are various code books available which specify all these things. We have heard about three major design philosophies. First one is working stress method, which is a stress based design. Second is ultimate strength or plastic design. And the third one is limit state design or it is a strength based design. In this subject, we will be concentrated on limit state design which is a strength based design and we will be using IS 800-2007 codebook for that. There are various codebooks available for us which act as a guideline and also helps the engineers in designing with ease. The first codebook which we are using will be IS 800-2007. It is a code of practice for design of steel structures. It is based on limit state design. The second code we will be using is IS 875 part 3. 
which gives us the wind loads on a structure. The next code we'll be using is IS883, which is a code of practice for timber structures, which comes in module 6. Also, we'll be using SP61964, which is the steel table, which provides the sectional details of each section we have to select. Let us summarize what we have learned till now. We started off with steel as a construction material. Then we discussed about its advantages and properties. By now, you must have understood why steel is preferred more over concrete. Then we went through the classification, structural steel, reinforcing steel, and the steel based on the various carbon content. There are various rolled steel sections available, almost 10 types. Each sections are available at different shapes and sizes in the market. We also discussed about analysis, design, and the various loads, load combinations, and the code books available for designers to help them and help them in the design process. With this, I wind up this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll talk about what is connections, what are the different types of connections, what is a bolted connection etc. Thank you. Hi students. KTU in the S7 Civil Engineering in the tuition number RMBG under. Now we start with S7 Civil in the design of steel structures in the tuition. Now tuition is fully online. You can use any college in the college. Every day under the Amazon group, the tuition you can access here on the loop. Tuition with the recorded videos on about the videos in the access. You can pay me to the rainbow. You can go up and get the room. You can get a doubt to much a discussion. So, Matra on a number online Google Meet to worry. Cheese the room. Upon the cable day on a gilum, either some yet on a gilum, classical, a thrown on a gilum, repeated idea to Kana on the loop. Pada tuition sambung awal itu lah, anda ingat belum? Inquiry soal ni kira, ni ngek? Ini lekangan na, ini dua number le, contact dia orang mana? Thank you.